Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is tournament morning. It's been a while since we've done one of these because uh, it's been so cold and there's just really not a ton of tournaments, but uh, we're out here fishing the winter trail at a lake that I really love to fish that has a lot of spotted bass in it. And we're gonna see if we can get it done today. I'm out here by myself. I was gonna come out here with my buddy Caleb, but he fell asleep last night before we really made plans. I decided I was gonna come and now I'm here. We're about to go fish it, so I'm excited. I've won a tournament on this lake one time before, and I've fished a bunch of them. Last time I fished a tournament here, I didn't do good, but last couple times I've fished here for fun, I've done really well. So we'll see what happens. I think last time they had a tournament, it took 10 pounds to win, and I think I can probably catch 10 pounds today. You just kind of have to look into those bigger bites. Catching pound and a halfers really isn't a problem, but catching those two to three pound fish, that is a game changer. So we'll end up seeing what happens, but uh, I'm excited, hopefully it's a good day. It's time. Let's get it. All right. Let's freaking go. Time to win this thing. Boys, we have our starting spot to ourselves, and I am so surprised. We're gonna sit here for like an hour and see if we can get S5 real quick. It's still pretty dark right now, so I don't really know how well they're gonna bite, but we're gonna see. All I know is I'm glad that I am able to start on this spot. That is good news right there. Let's see what we can get going on. I'm excited. I actually got to start on my spot. <laughs> Turn on the live scope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Drift into a tree. I should be able to catch them right here, baby. Come on, be there, bass. I know there's gonna be some here. I always catch them here, but we just got to uh, figure out when they wanna actually bite. And I'm gonna get the net out just in case. I am by myself, but if I get like a five pound largemouth or something, I really just don't want to risk losing it because that is a game changer. So basically what I'm starting off on is we've got a little shelf right here with some lay downs and this spot's usually a lot better whenever there's wind, but we don't have wind. I've got a bunch of rock out here in front of me also. I've caught some pretty decent fish here before actually, so. No! Uh, that was a good one too. That was our first bite of the day, first miss of the day too. Fish. I don't think it's a keeper though. I don't know, he might be. Nah. I don't think so, but it is our first fish of the day. He just spit up a shad in my boat. It's pretty nice. There's a shad, that's what they always do. He's long, but I don't think he's 14 long. Look, spitting shad everywhere in my boat. Stop it, stop it. Yeah, there's no way he's a 14, but first fish. And he literally spit up about 50 bajillion shad in the bottom of my boat. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Got him that time. That might be a keeper. Maybe, if we're lucky. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. All day. All day. Gotta be. He's long. He's long. He's gotta be. I mean, he's gonna barely be one, I think, but he should make it. I think. We'll see, hopefully. Please, baby. It's a 14, but barely a 14, so... Hey, keeper number one, it ain't much, but it's something at least, something to get us started. 
Let's fill these up. I just want to shake your head. A little green pumpkin worm. Felt one thump it. Then it missed it. And then I came back and then that one was on there. So worked out. I don't know if it was the same fish or a different one, but worked out. We got our first keeper. Just followed it down. Come on, eat it. Yep, there it is. That's a dink. Little dink. That's a good one. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah. That's two. Three more, that's what I need. That's another good one. another good one that's a large mouth that's a large mouth please be 14 please be 14 mr. bass you ain't gonna make it look 13 and a half well I thought that was gonna be number three Barely short. Dude, I'm smoking them right here. I'm legit smoking them right here. Every cast. Literally every cast. This one ain't a keeper. But. At least I don't think so. There's a short. That's what? Fish number three? Fish number four? Something like that. Okay, so I wasn't really able to talk much because there was boats all around me. There's a guy right here. He just pulled in on me. I was catching those fish right here, right in front of him. So I didn't really want to say much. I especially didn't want him to know what I was throwing, but I'm sure he probably knows. I just caught that spot, which is a keeper. I didn't even have to measure him. I knew he was. And then I have that other keeper spot. Just had that large mouth that I really thought was going to be 14. If it was a spotted bass, that would have been a 14 because spots are just longer. But I had to throw him back. He was a half inch short. So we've only got two keepers. I think I've caught four fish, five fish, something like that. Finally starting to bite. And I'm just going to keep fishing here because I haven't, I've been on this spot by myself the whole time. So except for that guy just pulling in. So these fish have not had any pressure today because I've been the first person here. So I'm going to at least see if I can get five. And I know there's some good ones here. I just got to get them to bite. No. That felt like a good one. No, not that much. Caught a few, but nothing crazy. Missed a bunch. Yeah. How y'all doing today? Pretty good? Caught a bunch of dinks. We got one in the bucket. Yeah. I got two. I just caught a 13 and a half inch large mouth. I was like, man, so close to being 14, but whatever. That's how it goes, you know how it is. Yeah. Especially out here. Catch a ton of 13 and a half, 13 and three quarters, it'll break your heart. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you too.
Well, those guys were pretty nice. He said, save us a few. I might be back in here after a while. Me too. <laughs> I think they're in here. It's just getting them to bite. Dude, come on. Can you just eat it all the way when you bite? Like, come on. What's up? They just gotta be dinks or something. A little bit. How about you? They're schooling back there. I ain't gonna chase no schoolers. <laughs> we did for a little bit and got lucky. They started blowing up in front of the boat. I caught a decent sized large mouth. That's good. Yeah. That's rare. <laughs> I know. I was shocked when it got to. I think I had two on. Cause really? I had two when it got to the boat, and then right when I went to bring it up, there was only one. I don't know if he was trying to take it out of his mouth or if they were both open. I couldn't tell, but. That's cool either way, though. Yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah, you too. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Should be. That's another largemouth. Oh, I don't know if he's going to be a keeper. He might be about the same size as that last one. Dude, come on. 13. Hey, come it. That last one was bigger than this one. Same thing. 13 and a half. Just can't win. Can't win. I need 14s, man. If those were 14s, that would give me some good weight. I know I'm in the right area, though. I mean, if I'm getting bit by largemouth and spots, this is where I need to be because I have potential to catch a big largemouth. I mean, that potential is there. Got to change up. Can't stay here for too long. I don't want to stay here and waste all my time, especially if it's going to rain. I don't know how that's going to affect them. So. We're going ahead and we're going to roll. Caught a couple. Only only two keepers though. Hey, you ate the fishing, right? Yeah, that's me. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get a video right now. We'll see. I'm in a tournament, so oh, okay. I've I've got two in the box right now, but I had a bunch of 13 and a halves. Really close. We're at this new spot. There's a bridge right here. And uh caught some good largemouth here the past couple weeks on an underspin but i broke off my underspin so i gotta find another one and tie it on but for right now i'm gonna throw the shaky head and see if i can get anything to eat the shaky head check the brush pile nothing on it threw on it a couple times just to make sure but there's nothing on it so we're back down here there's somebody fishing but they're in a raft so they're like not in the tournament but Okay, I'm going to give this guy some space and I'm just going to start over here. See if I can get me a large mouth. Gotta do something because this ain't working out. Not right now. They are not feeding right here. I can tell you that right now. Just switched it up, moved to a different spot. We're going to go ahead and check on these fish. Just make sure they're both doing pretty good. They're both doing good. They just need three friends. I really do think that if I can get a limit, it'll go a long ways. I don't think I'll win with like a small limit, but I think I can get paid with a eight pound limit, which I'm on my way to get. Not really. How y'all doing? Yeah, I've still got the same too. I just, I was getting some small bites, but they're not biting as good anymore. Please bite it. Please bite it. That is a big one too. That is a big one. That's a keeper. 
Oh yeah, this one's a keeper too. Not too bad. You're my good luck charm. <laughs> Barely short. That would be a nice one to have too. Man. That is frustrating. Just had another fish that was not even a keeper. I knew he was going to eat it too. I watched him on live scope and nose it all the way down. I've caught him here good before too. When I set the hook on it, it felt super good. That is a dang big one. That is actually a dang big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Please stay on there. 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 I just got me a good one. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a nice one right there. Thank you, Lord. Now, you can't tell me that one right there ain't a 14. Man, I thought it was bigger than that, but. That is a good spot right there. That's 15 and a half. -er. There we go. Keeper number three. Gotta keep stacking them up, but we're doing it right now. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. That'll get you jacked up right there. That'll get you jacked up. Okay, so I wish I had some more good tree banks, but I really just don't have a ton. This is like my best one I've got. And I'm assuming it probably hasn't been hit today, so it's probably why I was able to catch two fish off of it. Um, but what I might do is run down it one more time with the drop shot, and then probably go ahead and run up the lake to a different spot. Because I still got to catch two somewhere. I don't think I can catch two more right here, but we'll see, maybe. Oh yeah. That's another keeper right there too. Oh, it is. It might be the biggest one of the day right here. You gotta be careful, I got this light line on here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, there we go. That's a big one right there. This is a drop shot. Yep, on the drop shot. I'm throwing a color called Morning Dawn. Maybe we can catch all of our keepers on this bank. That is a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't even know why I'm really putting them on the board. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest one of the day right there. We got us a little something going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good luck to y'all too. Appreciate you giving me some space here. I really do. Hope, hopefully I can uh, win this thing. Hopefully. Oh, my day's turning around. Okay, I'm going to fish up to the end of the point. And then I'm going to go probably try to find another patch of trees that looks good in the same type of depth. Keep getting hung like crazy. 120 right now, weighing the 315, so I've got like two hours. There's so many brush piles. Digging out there. Biggin. 
big and oh my gosh stay on stay on please stay on please stay on please this is it this is it this is it stay on there please stay on there please please stay on there please stay on there please stay on there please stay on there yes baby let's go let's go let's go just fell out of its mouth just fell out of its mouth let's freaking go yes yes bam keeper 15 and a half yes live scoping them baby live scoping them <laughs> that one was all on live scope i threw it out to where i saw where the fish were at and then i just felt the weight on there i was like yes set the hook and man that thing was fighting like crazy these spots they fight like crazy so they all feel big but that being a 15 and a half inch spot that is above average because a lot of people are going to bring in 14 inches that's just how it is so all right let's do this thing i got me a fresh tide on drop shot with my morning dawn worm and uh let's do this thing let's catch us another one pull out that small one we have and then we're just gonna have all 15 inches when we go back in the way and that's that's the plan that's the goal I think this one's gonna eat yep there it is come on eat it there's another one that's another good one too hopefully that's a call oh I don't know if it will or not I don't think it will this one's smaller than that other one I have I don't even know if this one's even a 14 oh, he's about a 13 inch well, hey thanks buddy really appreciate you Got me excited for no reason. Go try something different. Come on. One more. One more. I wasn't recording. This is a big one. This should be a call. Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I mean, it's still a pretty good one. I think it's a keeper, which I have five, but I don't know. I don't even know if he's 14. I got to check him. Dude, that thing was fighting like crazy, though. I just live scoped that one. Turned off my camera because I had to take a tinkle, and uh, then I caught this one. Heck no, he's a 13. Good thing that I've got my keepers because... That one ain't a keeper. There you go, I'm watching him swim back down to the bottom. All right, it's time. I got four of them that are all over 15. They're probably like 15 and a half inches, but then I got one that's like right at 14, of course. But those are the only keepers I even caught was the five I've got. This one right here, real small one. But the other ones are all pretty good though. He's a long skinny sucker. Yeah, I don't know. I caught a 460. Was that cheap? Yeah. Yeah, I caught it on a on a uh, underspin though. But yeah, that was here. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go weigh these things in. 
36. You get all that colder today? Mm-hmm. Yep. Should be pretty good. Wish there's a couple bigger ones, but that's how it is. They ain't bad. I ain't complaining with them. Seven oh six, Dale. Oh six, it went to oh six. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man, you too. There they go. All seven pounds of them. And I am the last one here. Literally. <laughs> oh, man, what a day. What a day. Look at this rain. Oh, what a day. We are back in the truck, got the boat all loaded up, and as you can tell, I am wet. I mean, it has been raining just about all day. It rained starting from about 10 o'clock on to right now, and it is now 4.30. Weigh-in was at 3.15, so everybody weighed in and everything by like 3.45. And uh, now I'm loaded up and ready to go on home. So had a pretty good day out there. Didn't really catch a ton, a ton of fish. I mean, caught a decent bit, but didn't catch anything too crazy. Didn't catch any super big ones either. I know there was a lot of 10 pound bags. There was a couple 11 pound bags, a couple nine pound bags, stuff like that. But uh, really just nobody blew it out of the water. 12 pounds was the biggest one. I think there's only two, maybe three 12 pound bags. So wasn't anything crazy. Um, I guess I almost won the award for smallest limit smallest limit was 701 but i had 706 so missed out on that one yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video at least it is a tournament video and uh, it should be fun to watch hopefully i'll be able to get out here soon and do some more tournaments i know you guys love the tournament videos win or lose they're still a lot of fun i enjoy making them i enjoy fishing them and i know you guys enjoy watching them so be on the lookout for some more if you haven't already be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy it Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll catch all of you in the next episode. A-Dub out.